There are 18 million acres of forest land across the state of North Carolina. The majority of that belongs to private landowners. Tonight, CBS 17's Rod Carter introduces you to one of those landowners and a group looking to increase those numbers among minorities. When I first bought it, I owned 130 acres. When Mr. Tommy Porter bought this sprawling farm in Oxford some 32 years ago, I always had this dream of owning a ranch. He was manifesting a long-held childhood dream and dreaming of a secure future for his family. I've always wanted to leave family something when I die because, uh, you know, they won't have to start from the beginning like I did. At age 82, Mr. Porter, a former Durham business owner, has a few ventures on this 100 plus acre property. One, he leases a part of his land to others for their cattle to graze. Because I got tired of chasing cows. Although he does do some planting, it's not as much as he did before. When I was younger, we farmed strawberries and pumpkins and tomatoes, mm -hmm. but that was hard work. Yeah. I don't do that anymore. But one big thing for him, are his trees. He sells timber from his forest. Push that mound into the area. Mr. Porter showed me around his property and told me about some of the areas that he does and does not cut to sell those trees. The way a business make money is to have more than one source of income. You're more inflation proof. Black landowners like Mr. Porter are dwindling. According to a 2021 study prepared for Congress on racial equity in U.S. farming, the number of black farmers dropped by a whopping 98 percent from 1900 to 1997. That is the largest decline of any race, and there are a number of reasons why. Not having access to technical assistance from all the, the resources. Of course, uh, discrimination, uh, some of uh, agency practices not providing those resources, uh, not having that access to financial assistance to uh, implement practices and conservation practices on the ground. And that is where Alton Perry comes in. I've been doing this about 10 years. He's the director of the Roanoke Electric Cooperative Sustainable Forestry and Land Retention Project. His entire job is to bring together everything black farmers and landowners need to keep and grow their property, eventually passing it on to the next generation. It was around this theory of change that if uh, a local organization that was trusted in the community, could they be the catalyst to bring together all of these resources to bear? Over the course of the last 100 plus years, land ownership among African Americans here in North Carolina has gone from as much as 15 million acres to as low as 1 million acres. And those are numbers this organization desperately wants to reverse. And another big reason why? Not having access to um, legal services to address issues around estate planning and succession planning. And that's why Perry says he wants to help make sure when the person who owns the land passes away, the land itself doesn't go away with them. That's not going to happen in this family. Mr. Porter has plans for his land to make money right now. Both my grandsons got married on a farm. They said, well, Pop, Papa, why don't you turn this into a wedding venue? I said, well, you, you all can do what you want to do. I'm, I'm, I don't want to do anything. And leave a legacy his family can benefit from for a lifetime. Oh, there, there it is. is. There it is. Yeah. There it is. Would you ever sell it? I would never sell it. Why not? <sighs> well, I'm hoping to pass it on to future generations. Rod Carter, CBS 17 News.